the second quarterfinal of the 2023 GNAC Women's Basketball Championships. Seattle Pacific with a 69-65 victory over Alaska Anchorage. Joining us in the postgame press conference, head coach Mike Simonson, along with student-athletes Natalie Hoff and Ashley Alter. Uh, coach, congratulations. A hard-fought battle the entire 40 minutes. Uh, talk about your team's performance tonight. Yeah, that was, when you say hard-fought battle, it was like a roller coaster. I felt like I was at, uh, what's the Six Flags? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, but it was just up and down, hard-fought game. That's the type of game that just shows how much parity is in the GNAC conference this year and how anyone can beat anybody. Um, there was moments where we played our be best basketball, and there was definitely moments where Anchorage played their best. And so it was, it was a heavyweight slugfest, and we are so happy to come out with the victory and get to play again tomorrow against Western Washington. So, uh, Natalie, 21 points tonight, uh, led all scorers. Uh, talk about the change in the game in the, in the final three minutes. You were struggling through a good part of the second half, and then something seemed to click there down the stretch. Yeah, I think just like continuing to be aggressive was just our mindset and my mindset going in. Um, I'm really proud of our team because we hit some big shots towards the end, um, went on a big run. So, Ashley, talk about the guard play tonight. Yeah, I feel like, you know, the guards, they were definitely like on us tight. And I felt that, you know, it was our job to kind of read that. And I think we really took advantage of the inside. But so I think that Personally, I felt that, you know, if my shots weren't as easy coming to me, then I was trying to look for my other teammates. And I felt that that was just the style of the game tonight. And I was just doing everything I could to help win and just get that win. Actually, second half especially, 13 turnovers in the first half, only five in the second half. Talk about that. Is that something that was focused on halftime a little bit? A little bit, yeah. And I think to just like calming our minds down, I think was a big one. Uh, I think that we do a really good job of taking care of the ball, and I think that um, once the game went on, we started to f figure out what was working, and we kept doing that, kept executing, and that just led into not a lot of turnovers, which was really good. Now, our first two games against Anchorage, one up there, one down. We had one really good quarter tonight. It was pretty darn close to 40 minutes of good basketball. We'll talk about that a little bit. Yeah, we've been working on just putting together a full game against them um, of our best basketball, and I think we did that, very close to that, so I'm excited about that. And Mike, pick up on that as well, if you would, please. Yeah, they do a great job of taking away a lot of different things, and there are even moments in the game where we had to recenter ourselves, but um, I'm just so proud of our resiliency tonight. Um, I feel like almost every player that stepped on the floor had a moment in the game where they stepped up and made a big play for us, and obviously everyone sees the huge run that we had at the end of the game, which I'm not... I have to tell you, I think it was 10-2 or 12-2 to finish the game. But there were big plays that were made in the first, second, third, and fourth quarter that aren't as big on the stat sheet that people saw in the fourth quarter. Um, there were just huge plays where everyone stepped up and made, and all the way down to Anna's last free throw to win the game. I mean, that was a big one that we needed. So there were so many different ones. I could spotlight a ton of players, but that was the hard-fought game that we had. Points in the paint, uh, you guys had 38 points in the paint tonight. Natalie, what, what was working down low to get so much production off the blocks? Yeah, I think going into this game, it was a goal that we really wanted to get the ball in the middle and uh, look down low and uh, really just keep punching it inside. And I think that is what we did really well this game um, compared to the last two games when we played them. Uh, Ashley, for, for everyone at the table, first win against Alaska Anchorage. How, how's that one feel to put one in, in your back pocket like that? It feels great. I mean, Nat and Simo, like, I think we've been, like, on this team for five years and we haven't beat Anchorage once. So it's a great feeling to just beat them when it really matters. Yeah. And I think losing to them and um, in the last game of this, or one of the last games of the season, and then meeting them again, it was just such a good opportunity to, like, really finish this like this off and just like get a win and have it you know propel us into the rest of the tournament and now you have to face the home team western washington on um, you know they're they're looking to do some good things within their home crowd great team uh thoughts about tomorrow's matchup yeah we've had we've had some battles with them already this year we've seen them a lot uh, in our conference and you know they're being right up the road, our rival. Um, we know them very well. They know us very well. So tomorrow's going to be a tough game. We need to rest tonight. Uh, 
we need to get ready to go and uh, clean up some things because it will be a completely different game stylistically than Alaska Anchorage, so that will be an adjustment that we'll need to do. But we'll rest up, we'll enjoy some burgers tonight, and we'll get ready to roll tomorrow as we face the tough Vikings, the tough Vikings. Mm -hmm. Seattle Pacific with the 69-65 win over Alaska Anchorage in the quarterfinals of the GNAC Women's Basketball Championships. Congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you, you so much.